what's up everyone? Welcome to another KCG Tech video. Today we're gonna look at QTV04 display card. A um, couple of facts about this card. This is professional grade card, rated for 50 kilograms or 70 inch displays. It's great for boardroom environments, corporate environments, showroom environments, and it's fitted with caster wheels that are also lockable, so you can wheel it around and lock it in a place uh, where you wish to display this. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna unbox this together and assemble it, and then we'll give you a look with one of our demo display units that what it looks like. Let's get started. Let's have a look inside and see what are the contents that come with this car. As you can see, the car's very well protected and in this styrofoam, all the components are nicely separated. What I'm gonna quickly do is take all the components out from their plastic film, lay them on the floor and walk you through what they are and we're gonna start assembling this car together. assembling the step one, one at a time. To make it easy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it backward and I'm gonna bring it up from here. I find that this makes it a little bit easier to screw it in. <laughs> I'm gonna full tight them just yet. I'm gonna bring them all together and then we'll full tight them again. Now you wanna make sure these are nice and tight. And double check this side as well. Again, all the tools you need for this assembly comes with the kit, so you're not gonna need any more tools. And while we're here, we're gonna double check the wheels as well, that these are nice and tight. Oh yeah, glad we checked, because look at this, this was a bit loose. Nice, 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 nice. Now we're gonna work on step two. So step two is attaching the column to the base. Let's get started with that. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna flip this, make sure it is heavy, not too heavy, but it's heavy enough. So make sure you are careful while lifting any weight. I'm going to go and grab the column. This is the column that's going up next. It comes with its own cable management. One side you'll see there are four screws. This is the top side. One side you'd see it's hollow where Screws can go in, that's the bottom side. So we're gonna slide the bottom side in there. So you can have W's that go at the bottom of that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just hand tightening it before I'm gonna full tighten it with the Allen key provided within the kit. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so the 
next step is going to be we're going to be increasing the length of this column and we're going to use the provided allen key so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loosen the four screws on the side and as you can see i didn't even have to do all four of them i'm gonna make it nice and tight i'm not gonna make it too high right now so we can finish recording this assembly uh, but once we're done we will show you the full height full low and portrait and landscape orientation of this display trolley again the trolley so far is professional grade very heavy duty you can take up to 70 inch display and 50 kilogram of payload just to give you an example a 55 inch display is about 16 kilograms so you still got a lot of payload there are options of mounting a computer I would recommend if you're just doing it for your um, boardroom meetings or Zoom calls or video meetings, uh, a small NUC will be more than enough to power the entire display. If you're gonna use the display with display signage, the displays are built in with the media player. So you don't need to attach it to external computer to play the signage stuff. So let's keep working on this. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the cover for this. So None of this stuff is exposed. And this just goes, sort of you can easily pop it in from the top. Next thing we're gonna do is install our support plate. As you can see, another solid heavy equipment. And for the plate, we need letter U. So we've got two screws in letter U to install the support plate. So I'm gonna get that out and we're gonna install the support plate. Okay, I'll see if I can show you. So as you can see, there is a couple of um, protruding metal and this just goes into the grooves that are on front of this, this column. And again, the top plate, top plate stays on top. Next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna install that cover on top as we no longer need to come back to the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover all the exposed ends to make sure it's nice and secure. These are all the tools required to install the back plate. So as you can see, that this is the top side of the back plate. There's a bit of a groove. With the arms, the longer holes, the longer holes are at the bottom. These are on top. And we need, we need four of these plates to slide in. That's where our screws are gonna go in. Our screws are Q. These are leftover four screws that we opened and installed at the bottom of the base, if you remember when we installed that. So let's get started with this one. make them full tight because I may need to push them around a little bit when we're going to install our display. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to slide the side covers and for this we're going to need V screws. So I'm going to open these right here. There are six of them in total but right now we only need four and you can see everything is well protected, well covered and solid so you're not going to have your display fall out of the trolley or loosen up or any of that stuff next thing we have is our display so we're gonna mount our display i'm gonna put it on a nice soft surface when you're placing a display make sure you are on a flat surface there's nothing that's going to pinch your display now we're going to mount the back bracket on the back of our display what you need is mf MA or MB screws, depending on what your display takes. we're ready to install our display onto the trolley. So let's get to the next step and install our display on the trolley. 
So what we need to make sure is we're holding the display right side up. There is a little sort of lock on top that you can see here. Make sure this is on top. So now we're gonna mount our display. It's gonna lock in here and go in. So as soon as you've mounted your display, you wanna make sure your display is secure before you do anything else, because you don't want your display falling off the trolley while you're finishing building up the rest of the trolley. So what we need is two screws that are labeled as X. We're gonna take them out and we're gonna secure our display. I can show you up close what that looks like. And we're gonna need a screwdriver for this. So we're gonna secure our display by putting two screws that are labeled as X here. So that will make sure our display does not come off the trolley. And the next one is this side, again, same spot. You can see in the camera here, if you don't see the detail, feel free to drop any questions you may have. We're happy to answer any questions. We do supply this all over Melbourne and can install on site. So if you need any help installing, we've got professionals that can install this for you. As you can see, once the display is locked with these two locking nuts, you can't take it out, you can't lift it up. This is nice and solid and strong. Okay, so our trolley is all assembled now. One of the top features of this very heavy duty uh, professional trolley is, wait for it, it can work in landscape mode and also in portrait mode. So you can use it in portrait mode or in landscape mode, whichever mode you prefer. You can have a lock-in for the safety at the back and once you let it go, it'll gently come back to its landscape position. So it has amazing features, guys. And again, check out our website for up-to-date pricing at kcgtech.com.au or kcg.co. Hit us up for latest pricing, guys. Uh, we deliver all over Australia and we offer assembly services all over Melbourne as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with us anytime we're here to help. We'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,